Hey there! So, we've got some hot stuff to discuss today. The AI turf is heating up with companies vying for the top spot, and guess what? Anthropic is rolling out its latest and greatest gen AI model, the almighty Claude 3. Ready for another exciting episode of Infinite Innovations Tech? Well, buckle up, my friend, because it's time to dive right in. As a startup founded by former OpenAI employees and with support from Google and Amazon, some confidently believe this model can outshine the best in the industry, including OpenAI's GPT-4 and Google's Gemini. For those who don't know, Claude 3, an upgraded version of Claude 2.1, comes in three sizes. Claude 3 Opus, Claude 3 Sonnet, and Claude 3 Haiku. These multimodal Gen AI models extract and process information from various sources, such as photos, graphs, charts, PDFs, and slides. Gen AI model Haiku is the fastest and most cost-effective among its competitors. It can read information, including charts and graphs, in under three seconds. We're excited about Claude 3's potential and look forward to pushing the boundaries of what Gen AI can achieve. Before you roll your eyes and think, Oh, here we go again with another AI company claiming to rule the world. Just hear us out. We're not kidding when we say Anthropic dropped some severe information. They've spilled the beans on Claude, three in their tech report, and released notes. And we've been digging into those details like a kid in a candy shop. But first, let's talk money. Claude 3 Opus is doing a mic drop at $1.15 per input for a million tokens. Hold your breath. GPT-4 is charging double that at $30 for the same deal. Yeah, we're turning heads with not just our smarts, but also our pocket-friendly prices. But wait, how does Claude 3 stack up against the big players like GPT-4 and Gemini? Anthropic says we're rocking it on 10 different levels. From understanding fancy university stuff to solving math problems like a champ and even handling basic school knowledge, Claude 3 is the superhero in the AI league. We faced severe challenges in benchmark tests against GPT-4 and Gemini. Claude 3 Opus aced the massive multitask language understanding, MMLU test, scoring 86.8%. GPT-4 and Gemini Ultra lagged at 86.4 and 83.7%, respectively. MMLU throws everything at it. Math, physics, history, law, medicine, and ethics to test how much it knows about the world and its problem-solving skills. And here's the cool part. Claude 3 Opus kicked some serious butt in multilingual math, even though we played it cool with a zero-shot test. GPT-4 and Gemini 1.0 Ultra had to deal with an eight-shot evaluation. However, Claude 3 Opus still outshined them with a 90.7% score, leaving GPT-4 and Gemini 1.0 Ultra behind at 74.5% and 79% respectively. Mic drop, anyone? Let's delve deeper into the fascinating world of Claude 3 Opus and its prowess in handling hallucinations. Anthropic claims that Opus has achieved a remarkable twofold improvement in accuracy, making significant strides in providing correct answers to challenging open ended questions compared to its predecessor, Claude 2.1. It's like witnessing the evolution of an already smart friend into someone who knows more and understands better. Now, when we talk about hallucinations in the context of artificial intelligence, it's not about psychedelic experiences or vivid imaginations. Instead, it refers to instances where an AI model generates information that sounds plausible, but is in fact incorrect or fictional. It's like the AI version of getting your wires crossed. The model creates responses that might seem right, but lack a solid foundation. Anthropic, well aware of the challenges posed by hallucinations, has taken a proactive approach to evaluating and enhancing Claude 3 Opus's performance. They've designed an elaborate testing regimen using many complex and factual questions. These questions are no walk in the park. They're strategically crafted to expose the weaknesses commonly found in existing AI models, acting as a litmus test for Opus. 
the evaluation process continues beyond distinguishing between correct and incorrect answers. Anthropic goes a step further by categorizing the responses, mainly focusing on identifying instances of hallucinations. This meticulous categorization is like giving Opus a report card, highlighting its ability to discern between accurate information and imaginative leaps. What sets Claude three Opus apart is not just the reduction in incorrect answers. It's the finesse with which it handles uncertainty. Rather than bluffing its way through, Opus has the integrity to admit when it doesn't have a concrete answer. It's like having a knowledgeable friend who, when faced with a tricky question, says, I'm not sure about that. Let me check, instead of making a wild guess. Looking ahead, Anthropic has exciting plans to make Claude 3 Opus even more trustworthy. The upcoming citation feature is like giving Opus a built-in library card. Imagine Opus not only providing the correct answer, but also citing the exact source and reference material, essentially saying, here's where I got that information. This move aligns with Anthropic's commitment to accuracy, verifiability, and transparency. Anthropic is turning Claude 3 Opus into your reliable fact-checking companion. It's not just about getting the answer, it's about empowering users to verify that the information is accurate. This shift marks a significant leap forward in the evolution of AI models, emphasizing information generation, accountability, and transparency. Regarding Claude 3 Opus, Anthropic isn't just bragging about its intelligence, they're highlighting its practical applications that could reshape how businesses operate. Picture Opus as your savvy virtual assistant, not just answering questions, but navigating open-ended prompts and unfamiliar situations with fluency and understanding that mimics human comprehension. It's like having a trusted colleague who can handle anything you throw at it. So what can Claude 3 Opus bring to the table? The possibilities are vast and intriguing. Imagine streamlining your workflow through task automation where Opus takes on repetitive or time-consuming tasks, allowing you to focus on more strategic aspects of your work. Whether crunching numbers, conducting research and development, or formulating intricate strategies, Opus excels in providing advanced analysis of charts, financial data, market trends, and even forecasting. It's not just about information retrieval. It's about empowering businesses with actionable insights derived from complex data. If Opus sounds like a powerhouse, let's shift our focus to the Claude 3 Sonnet. Sonnet offers a more budget-friendly alternative while still packing a punch regarding intelligence. This model is positioned for enterprise work, making it accessible to businesses that might not have the resources for Opus. The use cases for Sonnet extend to data processing, sales-related tasks, and efficiency-driven activities like code generation and quality control. It's a practical solution that brings sophisticated AI capabilities within reach, catering to a broader spectrum of businesses. And then there's the Claude 3 Haiku the lightweight, cost-effective option designed for specific tasks. Think of Haiku as the friendly face handling customer interactions, ensuring your content remains meaningful and appropriate. Its efficiency extends to functions like inventory management, which can contribute to significant cost savings. Haiku is like an elegant assistant, adept at specific tasks without the hefty price tag. What's noteworthy about Anthropic's approach is the consideration of affordability across its model lineup. While Opus leads the pack in intelligence, Sonnet and Haiku bring AI capabilities to businesses with varying needs and budget constraints. It's not just about providing cutting-edge technology, it's about democratizing access to AI and making it a valuable asset for businesses of all sizes. So, the bottom line? Claude 3 Opus is touted as the most intelligent language model, especially for image-related tasks. But this might change once Gemini 1.5 Ultra hits the scene, or OpenAI drops GPT 4.5. For now, Claude 3 Opus is the champ. Back in January, folks thought we were in an AI winter, but the language models are far away. That's a wrap for today's Infinite Innovations Tech Talk. We've uncovered the latest AI competition, and Claude 3 is shaking things up. Stay tuned for more exciting updates in the world of tech. Remember to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to keep up with the latest trends. Until next time, tech enthusiasts, keep innovating!